the app library. It's a new space at the end of your home screen pages that automatically organizes all your apps in one simple and easy to navigate view. I just go into jiggle mode, tap the dots at the bottom and check this out. I get a zoomed out view of all my app pages. I can simply tap to hide the pages I no longer need, just like that. And the new designs are more data rich than ever. And you can see they now come in a variety of sizes. So you can pick just the right level of information for each one. By letting you pin them at the top of your list so you can always get to them. And you can see messages as they come in with a beautiful animation on the pin. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. If you say open Safari, Siri pops up the bottom of the screen and instantly launches the app. Or if you ask for information, like the weather, results appear at the top of the screen, just like a notification. We're introducing a new app called Translate. You can translate your text and voice between any combination of these 11 languages. Our most requested, it's cycling. Allows users to ride their bike along bike lanes, paths, and roads. It's super simple. It uses NFC and you just tap to unlock. They're even easier to share than a physical key. Copies don't involve trips to the dealership, and you can share from wherever you are with iMessage. Everything about App Clips is designed for speed. They start with this card, which quickly pops up, and with just a tap, you can launch the App Clip. You don't need to enter credit card numbers because App Clips can use Apple Pay for payments. In watchOS 7, developers can enable multiple complications, making even more richly personal watch faces. Just long press on the face, Tap Share, pick a contact, and send. Just like in iOS 14, you can get cycling directions. You'll see a variety of routes with information like time, distance, and whether there are bike lanes. And in watchOS 7, we're adding dance. In dance, we combine data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope. Then we add in heart rate data for the most accurate calorie burn calculation. With a new focus on easy navigation and summary metrics, the app is getting a new name as well, fitness. So we are offering Wind Down. In the evening ahead of your bedtime, your phone can display the Wind Down screen to help you transition mentally before you go to bed. When you start washing your hands and sensing of how long you actually wash. During this, you'll get a little coaching to do a good job. You'll see a countdown along with haptics and sounds to make sure you wash as long as you're supposed to. In addition to the option of sharing your precise location, you'll have the option to only share your approximate location with apps. We'll show you what they tell us. You can see if a developer is collecting a little bit of data on you or a lot of data, or if they're sharing data with other companies to track you, and much more. We're also making changes for mic and camera so you always know when you're recording. In addition to requiring your permission this year, we're adding more visibility for current or recent mic or camera use. So if an app uses either one, we'll indicate that in the status bar. We're gonna make your workouts and everything you do on Apple TV even more productive by extending picture in picture across the entire Apple TV experience. And for even more fun, we're adding support for Xbox Elite 2 and Xbox Adaptive Controllers. Our goal was to bring even more clarity to the design of the software while retaining the Mac's powerful capability and ease of use. And we brought our unified language of symbols to the Mac, making them more consistent and easier to recognize. So created a new suite of sounds that are familiar to the Mac, but remastered and more refined. You can access it by clicking on the time in the upper right. And as you see, we now have a single view that brings your notifications and widgets together all in one place. And you'll notice that we've created gorgeous new app icons for all of your favorite apps. We've gone even further this year by giving you one place to get at all your controls. We've brought Control Center to the Mac. Messages on the Mac is designed to work seamlessly with all of your devices. So your SMS and iMessage conversations are in sync no matter what device you're using. When you open Safari, right away, you'll notice the new look. It's clean and fresh. Safari, you choose which sites each extension can work with. And you can even give them access just for the day, just for the website, or all the time. If I click on the Intelligent Tracking Prevention button, I can see the number of known trackers that Safari protected me from on this web page. I can click here to see a list of the known trackers right here in this popover. 
And the full privacy report is just one click away. So here on this website on El Mundo, Safari has detected that this is not my primary language, and it's added the translation icon to the smart search field. I can click here, and let's translate this page to English. It'll happen in line, and as more content is added, that gets translated dynamically too. Today is a truly historic day for the Mac. We're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. We've been building and refining our app in Silicon for over a decade. The result is a scalable architecture that is custom designed for Apple products, and it leads the industry in features and performance per watt. So of course, when we updated our apps for Big Sur, we built everything as native for Apple Silicon. Of course, a big part of the Mac experience is third-party apps. And we've been working with our friends at Microsoft, and they already have Office up and running natively on our new Macs. Mac OS Big Sur will include a new version of Rosetta, Rosetta 2. Rosetta 2 automatically translates your existing Mac apps so they work on new Macs with Apple Silicon. And this time, Rosetta is even faster, more powerful, and more compatible. The first thing that you'll notice are the same redesigned widgets that you saw in iOS 14. They look great on iPad as well, and they give you information at a glance whenever you go home. And this year, we're making it even easier to browse and organize your photos with an all-new sidebar. With just a tap of this button, I can reveal the sidebar with all the core functionality of the app in a single location. We've also streamlined the toolbars, adding new drop-down menus that consolidate functions into a single easy-to-access button. I can just tap to change views like this, and for even quicker access, I can just tap and drag to change the sort order all in a single motion. Now an incoming call is presented with a compact notification that doesn't take you out of context. And you can simply tap to answer or flick it away to dismiss. So we've redesigned search with a new compact design. You can start a search from anywhere, like the home screen or over any app. One of the great parts about taking notes with the Apple Pencil is that it really lets you work in a freeform way. I can just start writing anywhere. And it's not just about text. I can also express myself with drawings or shapes. In addition to shapes, we've also made huge improvements to our handwriting recognition. So now when I write, I can easily make a selection using the same gestures that I use for type text. Using Scribble, I can just write directly into the text field, and it automatically gets converted to type text. I'll use Scratch to delete lights, and then I can use Scribble to write new, and then light fixture in Chinese. You'll notice how Scribble recognizes both English and Chinese in the same line. AirPods will now seamlessly move between your devices without you having to manually switch them. Let's say you just finished listening to a podcast and you pick up your iPad to watch a show. AirPods will magically switch over. We also have an exciting new feature coming to AirPods Pro, spatial audio. You know the experience of being in a movie theater with a state-of-the-art surround sound system? We are thrilled to bring that same immersive experience to AirPods Pro. We want to make it even easier to build products that work across more homes. So we formed an alliance and partnered with Amazon, Google, and other industry leaders to define a new interoperability standard for the smart home. And any accessory using HomeKit or this new standard will work incredibly well across all your Apple devices. And in iOS 14, after you add an accessory, the Home app will now suggest useful automations so you can immediately put your new device to work for you. We're introducing a feature to help you get the most out of those bulbs, adaptive lighting. Adaptive lighting automatically adjusts the color temperature of your lights throughout the day. Turn it on to ease into the morning with warm colors. Stay focused and alert midday with cooler ones. Another powerful feature we're bringing to cameras is face recognition. HomeKit cameras and video doorbells will now provide even richer notifications, telling you who's there by leveraging the friends and family you've already tagged in your Photos app. In fact, all your HomeKit-enabled cameras will be directly integrated with tvOS 14, so you can quickly bring them up in the new HomeView and Control Center. 